What's up, my friends? My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. That was about two hours ago. Your boy was kind of in it to some extent. Uh, I can't wait to go back to that spot. That's a spot that I've driven past, uh, Christ, 10, 15 times. And, um, yeah, I've been meaning to fly there, and I finally did. And it did not disappoint, man. I can't wait to, uh, I think that might actually be like a one battery edit there. I don't know. We'll see. This is my full-time job. If you would like to support me so that I can keep on going and keep on delivering top-notch <laughs> content, <laughs> head on over to CiotiFPV.com and click all the buttons. If you miss any of the buttons, I will haunt, haunt, hunt you down and mercy kill you. Patreon is the thing that helps me out the most. You can jump onto my Patreon for as little as $3 a month. That's only 10 cents a day. It helps more than you could possibly imagine. Um, there are really good articles on how to filter tune the easy way, how to PID tune the easy way, uh, how to troubleshoot motor heat, video noise, all kinds of really good stuff. I guarantee you that you will get more than $3 a month of value out of my Patreon page. Or you can do the 5 or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or $50 tiers. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff going on there. A bunch of giveaways every other week. Um, my phone number, all kinds of good stuff. Get on, or else, or else. Uh, YouTube and Instagram, follow me on there. There's some cool shit going on over on Instagram. I'm actually going to open this up in another tab and show you guys. Uh, over on Etsy, I've got a whole bunch of really cool stickers and some hardware and some other nonsense. Uh, over on Fiverr, if you like the way that I was flying just now, I can help you fly like that. Um, back when I was into motorsports, I spent about 10 years as an instructor learning how to teach people how to drive better. And I've kind of transitioned that right into FPV. So I want to help you out. My, uh, my flight instruction, flight coaching rates are half off right now. Um, so get on over there or just shoot me a message somewhere on social media and uh, let's link up and through Velocidrone or Liftoff, uh, I, I, I open up a room, you join the room, I can spectate you, and I give you tips and tricks and all kinds of other good stuff. The folks that have uh, hired me to do that with them already, I've literally seen them improve over the course of a half an hour or an hour. It's, it's, it's really awesome. And then I send them off of the lesson with a bunch of drills to do and a bunch of things to work on, and usually I'll meet back up with them in a week or two, and yeah, we can just keep kind of moving on. Um, there's also uh, tuning. If, if you're having trouble tuning or you just want to get a tune that's as locked in as mine, I can help you out with that as well. Um, and there's also build planning. I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, and when I say spent, I mean to say wasted. Ugh. Ugh. Enough, enough, phone, enough. Uh, yeah, come over to Fiverr and hire me. Uh, T-shirts over on Teespring, here's FPV Exchange, and then a whole bunch of affiliate links. If you're ever doing an order uh, on FPV Cycle Amazon for anything, Get FPV oh my God's website, FPV Crate, Banggood, or Camera Butter, or AliExpress. Uh, if you hit any of these affiliate link buttons before you do the order, my phone is blowing up, which potentially means that there's a problem with the stream. Hold on. Nope, there's not. Uh, yeah, hit my affiliate links before you check out. It doesn't matter what you're buying. I will get 1% to 6% of your order for free! And then I'll piss it away on more things for testing to give you guys that juicy, juicy content. Uh, over on FPV Exchange, uh, Nevin built me my own little store, and my little store here pulls in a bunch of the stuff that I have going on on Etsy. These are a whole bunch of the stickers I have on Etsy. You know you want those stickers. Get your ass over to Etsy and buy some stickers! Uh, some random hardware over <laughs> over on Etsy as well, some USB covers, 
uh, SMA uh, uh, antenna mounts. And then these are a couple of the things here, the stick ends, the t-shirts, and the 3B hobby motors. These are a couple of the things that I am selling on FPV Exchange. The beauty of FPV Exchange is that when you sell something on there, you get put on the same page as the major resellers. One of the things that you can use FPV Exchange for is to price shop and to see what's in stock, see where stuff is in stock, which is more of a problem now than it ever was. So like on an FPV Exchange, if you're looking to buy, I don't know, these 3B motors by chance for, for the record, not for the record, for example, um, you type in 3B Hobby 2306 and it tells you every single website that sells that motor, it tells you the prices, and look, I'm selling them used, so I get put on the top of the list. So if you know you wanted them, you could offer to buy them for me. It's a really cool website. Get rid of some of the stuff that's just sitting on your desk collecting dust, and then you can buy new shit that will eventually sit on your desk and collect dust. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. Over on my Instagram, look what's going on. Look at, uh, so there's a new yoga studio edit if you like uh, women's butts. Uh, and then uh, check this out. Check this out. Look, Patrick and I went ham last night with Gemfan LED props. Look at those starlight props. Come on now. You can't tell me that's not the sickest thing you've ever seen. Ooh, look at them. Look how cool that looks. Hey! Yeah! What? Here's another one. Oh! Wait, no! I, uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Okay, woo! Probably got copyright uh, obliterated for that. But look at that! Come on! Look at it! Would you just look at it? God! Oh boy! Okay, now we're getting into my political shit. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, yeah, okay, so, things. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> okay, that's all the shilling that I've got. If you would like to talk directly to me, all you've got to do is type my name into the chat. It happened here within this URL. Uh, just type FPV into the chat, and then, uh, like random did, look at that. If you type CIDFPV, it'll light up an orange, and I will know that you're talking directly to me, and then I'll talk back to you. How about that? That's how the streams work. In the chat, Motoref was first, Alpha Sloth was next, Late Night Scope, June Loco, Dauntless FPV, Dr. Vergno, Dr. Dr. Vigno, Dr. Shivago, Bob Noxious, Paul McDonald, Ruby Tim, Richard Edk, Patio Patterson, Matt, uh, Kathy McKibben, Toxic FPV, Riot 9, E Doc, Frank Nicholas, Ryan, Random FPV again, Ken Hill, Motor Ref FPV, Ken Hill again, Riot 9, Dicks Everywhere, DQ, Random FPV, Paul McDonald again, Keith Brigadier, Aaron FPV, trying to sort through the re Okay, that's all I'm going to read out. Um, what's going on in the chat? Let's get caught up on chat first. Random FPV says, uh, did you hear... See how he's handing out wrist, wristies to any new... What the fuck is a wristie? What's a wristie, Random? I've never heard of that. Uh, I'm probably too old for it. Random also says, me too, let's form an order li orderly line so see how he can get started. Well, it worked. Uh, Frank Nicholas dropping the link as well as Remy Tim to the link tree and CIDFPV.com. Thank you, guys. Paul McDonald says, can't wait to learn. What do you want to learn, Paul McDonald? I'll, I'll teach you whatever you want. Uh, and then Callisto says, Ciadi FPV, what's up? DQ says, would you just look at it? Would you, would you look at, would you just look at it? Cheers, motherfuckers. Today was a good day, goddammit. I don't know why it was a good day, but I woke up, I did some things, I shipped some, uh, some giveaway stuffs out, that was good. Um... I got hit on by the waitress at the local uh, Mexican place. That was uh, that was pretty fucking cool. Uh, I stopped by Oya Yoga, had some wine there. Um, yeah, man, fucking good day today. All right, day, good Friday. Now I'm hanging out with you, lovely mother effers. Paul McDonald says, uh, Seattle FPV, we're doing a fiver tomorrow, lol. Same Paul McDonald from Facebook, you the same Seattle. <laughs> I sure am, Paul. Uh, yeah, I've actually got two fiver sessions tomorrow. Uh, should be good. Two, two thirty and four? 
I want to say. I don't know. I have it in my calendar. It'll start yakking at me. Um, I got some stuff from Amazon in. Apparently, this is really good for gluing carbon fiber. Uh, so I'll let you guys know. Uh, so I got this, which is good. I got, uh, I got a Weeha demagnetizer and magnetizer, which uh, should be good. These, um, these tweezers here at some point became magnetized, which is really annoying. Um, and, the, and the demagnetizer seems to have worked. So that was pretty dope. I'm, uh, I'm happy with my purchase on that one. Which, um, you know, sometimes I'm not, not happy with my purchase. Per okay. And look at this. I got the grease, motherfuckers. I got the Nio gel. <laughs> We're going to give it a shot. I'm just going to start. I mean, I'm not really going to test this. Uh, Chris Rosser has already tested this. This is not for my balls or my wiener. Uh, this is for my arms. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> uh, this is uh, lubricant for my arms. Um, <laughs> Chris Rosser uh, has been testing different methods of um, <laughs> of physically damping vibrations, and. Um, over on FPV Cycle, over on the FPV Cycle Facebook group, I'm drunk by the way. Uh, that way, just got me drunk. Um, over on, uh, I don't know. Go watch all of Chris Rosser's videos. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. You gotta go watch him. Go watch him. He's a great guy. He's doing. He's doing all the good things. Uh, but yeah, this is going to dampen. A little bit of vibrations. Uh, so there's two currently. Woo! <laughs> ah, okay. So <laughs> currently, there are two hot, amazing, uh, not amazing, hot hype trainy uh, ways to dampen vibrations on quads. Um, electrical tape on the top of your arms in between the arm and the main base plate and Nio gel. Uh, the electric tape trick is kind of annoying because you've got your base plate, you've got your arms, and then you've got your bottom plate. And if you have, if you have electric tape up here, you can't pull the arms out. So every time you want to remove an arm, because you've broken the arm, which I do a good amount, um, you've got to loosen up all eight <clears throat> of, the, um, of the arm screws so that you can drop the X plate down so that the, the electric tape will kind of like let go from the base plate and you can pull the arm out. Nio, so that's kind of annoying for me because I break a lot of arms, so I'm not doing the electric tape thing. Nio gel will solve that problem. Um, it'll apparently be a little bit of a mess, but what are we, eight years old? Who gives a shit? If it works, deal with it. Everybody's bitching and moaning, oh, I'm not doing the fucking grease. It's going to make a mess. Fucking clean it up. What? It's going to make your shit perform better for like... 20 bucks. Who gives a shit if it's messy? What What the fuck? We crash into the fucking grass and send grass in every inch of these goddamn things. Everything about these quads is messy. Who gives a fuck? Put grease on it. Grease up your balls. Grease up your balls. Your arms. Grease up your arms. Don't grease your balls. It'll go poorly. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Do whatever you want. Uh, Callisto says, I got the Nio gel, I put it on, just haven't got out yet. Jackalope says, hell yeah, get lit. EE <laughs> Doc says, the Nio gel doesn't go on the nuts, it does not. Well, I think it does. No, it doesn't go on the nuts, it goes on the screws. So here's what you do with Nio gel. You screw it, and you arm it. 
top advice from your boy. Gangly McGangles a lot. Uh, Johnny Droid says, it's not for my balls. I'm going to rub it all over my base plate. It, that's true. It's for the base. It's for the, the screw. And it's for the arms. All right. Uh, what are we doing? What do you guys want to do tonight? You want to drink beers together? Just all night? All right. <laughs> Riot Nine's frames have unicorn jizz all of them. Um. Hey, let's watch some. Uh, let's watch some footage. Daniel M says, Siati, let me build you a PC. Uh, no, Daniel. Uh, I hate PCs. I have had to use PCs in my professional career as a project manager and a salesperson for the last 20 years. Uh, and they make, they literally make me want to kill myself. They, they are the worst thing in the entire world, in my opinion. Um, so, uh, you can build me a PC, but don't send it to me. And, and if you send it to me, I'll be sending it back. Uh, they're just terrible, in my opinion. Um... Let's review some footage. We, uh, I showed you guys the best battery of the, uh, what's up, Harbles? Uh, we're coming over to crash your show. Am I on top of somebody? I, I specifically streamed at 11 o'clock so that I wouldn't be on top of anybody else. Did, did I manage to, uh, to fuck it up yet again? Nah, nobody's on. Where are you coming over from? Did, uh, did, uh, DJ just end or something, maybe? Veritas Weasel greased his ball bearings, and now he slides instead of rolls in. Yeah, this Nio gel is not for ball bearings. This is just... Oh, what? What are you doing in Atlanta? Um, yeah, come over, dude. Come on over, Ken. Whatever. I'm fucking hanging. I got all the space in the world. I'm all alone. I would love the fucking company. Uh, let's watch some more footage. So that was the best of the uh, of the batteries that I flew at this really cool spot, but uh, let's let's watch another another one or two. Let's see here. This was, so that was the <laughs> that was the. Th one, two, three, fourth battery that I threw. Let's go to the third. <laughs> the imposter has changed his name to Lanky Bastard. I can tell because I made him a moderator. <laughs> uh, this is the third battery. Let's see if uh, I do anything dumb. Oh, I'm cleaning the lens. Maybe you can see my nipples. Uh, yeah, look at this spot, man. This spot is, uh, I can't wait to go back. There's, there are these gigantic gaps in between all these trees, which is really kind of cool because you can drop down really low and cover a bunch of ground, which is fun. Um, I always like the, uh, I always really enjoy the, um, the opposite ends of the spectrum of, like, just covering ground in a, in a nice straight line and then like maybe doing something like this, but then like snapping into like crazy maniacal freestyle. The sky was also like kind of on fire. This was a, this was a great little flying session. Um, let me give you guys a little, let's see if we can make a little edit.
fail. I was trying to die that dive that fucking tree. <laughs> I totally missed it. I totally misjudged it. It's hard when you're up high like that to to uh, to judge distances. So that was a cool little session, man. I got all into that one fucking tree. Oh, oh, boy. And there's your proof that it's a session five with no smoothing. All right, let's go one more. Let's do one more. The battery right after that. Right back into it. Here we go. If you'd like your quad to be tuned that good, don't talk to me. <laughs> it's just by accident for me. Not by accident at all. Um, yeah, it's not hard to tune. It really isn't. I can help you out. <gasps> oh, it's just a little ant. Uh, Jackalope FB says, what output do you run your crossfire at? Jackalope, I don't even know. I think it's on dynamic, maybe? Um, I don't know. Crossfire works so good that you don't really have to, like, pay any attention. It just works forever. It's just crazy. Seth Inman says, have you ordered the M1 Mac yet? I have not, Seth. Um, it takes YouTube, uh, one and a half to two months, uh, to pay me out on the Super Chats. Um, so I don't have, and, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't have quite enough, uh, to, to buy it yet. So I gotta wait a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, Ken Hill says, Ciotti said to get the RCX 1306s from RC Mart, uh, but I couldn't find them. Uh, all right, let me show you. Let me show you how to find them. MyRCMart.com. For the record, the, um, 
the their 1306s do seem to have a little bit more jello than the Brother Hobby 1504.5s. Uh, I'm really excited about these iFlight Zing 1504s, and I'm also going to be testing the Toka 1505s. Uh, so if you can wait, <clears throat> there's the potential that uh, there's some other stuff that's going to be found out here. If you search in the product search for 1306, all right, search for 1306 in their product search on, on my RC Mart. And then start scrolling. I think they're on the second page. Uh, nope, first page. There they are. There's the 4,000 KV. There's the 6,000 KV. You want the 6,000 KV if you're going to run them on 3S. You want <clears throat> the 4,000 KV if you're going to run them on 4S. Um, or if you're, if you're going to run them on 2.5 inch props, you want the 6,000 KV for sure. Uh, so there you go, that's how you find them. Search 1306 on my RC Mart, scroll down a little bit. Hey, make sure you do this if you order them. Take off this warranty. The warranty is void as soon as you put a soldering iron on the, uh, on the motor wire. And that's kind of the only way to figure out if they're blown up or not. So take the warranty off and it's going to take the motor down from $11 to $8 per, which is ridiculous because these are some of the best motors that we've got access to. $8 per. Crazy. Uh, if you do their cheap shipping option, it's going to take about a month to get to you. If you do their expensive, I think it's $25 shipping option, it's going to take like two days to get to you. It's crazy. Uh, so either order a bunch or get with a couple of people. And uh, there you go. Veritas Weasel says, streaming to the big screen, definitely cool. <laughs> Ruby Tim says, 1306 or 1304? I thought CIDFPB recommends the 1304. I recommend them both just for different prop sizes. The 1306s are for a three inch prop, the 1304s are for a two and a half inch prop. Uh, Ruby Tim says, I win with the link. There you go. Thanks, uh, thanks, Daniel. Uh, speaking of Fiverr, Daniel Maurer is offering uh, mentoring, FPV mentoring. So if you know that's somebody that's trying to get into the hobby, or if you just have some basic questions, uh, Remy Tim has his own Fiverr, but then on my Fiverr, I have like a little link to him. Uh, so you can do that. And then also my video editing on my Fiverr is now through FinFPV. Uh, Finn FPV will do your editing for you. He's done a couple of phenomenal edits for me. And yeah, if you want to look like a better pilot than you actually are, that man can help you out. Uh, okay, closing down some windows here. I get sleepy when I drink. That's why I don't drink very often. Uh, what else is going on? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Bye bye! So, uh, there is some work that needs to get done on the rip squeak. Uh, I really, I, I really want to put these Zing 1504s on the rip squeak, uh, but nobody has them in, well, not nobody, but state, they're not in stock state side. State side. <sighs> Cool, it looks like Glenn and Ken are both going to come over and hang out. Uh, Alright, cool, that's going to be fun. Uh, so when they get here, I'll probably uh, chop the stream so that I can uh, hang out with them. Um, what do you guys want to do? You guys want one more battery of flight footage or... No, I already showed you all the good stuff. No more flight footage. Uh, Captain Cavalry says, was she cute? Very. Very. Uh, Remy Tim says, I've got three active Fiverr gigs right now. See, so PV, it's awesome. Yeah, Fiverr is really cool. Um, Fiverr is really, really cool. It's a really good spot. Uh, yeah, so go, guys, go check out Remy Tim, or I will kill you in your sleep. Um, hold on. Hold on, please. So we're going to work on the... Uh, we're going to work on the...
Rip Squeak. Motoref says, uh, could streams go? You mentioned 1408 and 1507s used to be considered ideal for 3-inch Cinewhoops because they get because uh, they get super hot. Which are ideal motors for 3-inch Cinewhoops now? Um, so to clarify uh, what Motoref is saying in, 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 in there, um, 1408s, in my opinion, have never been the right motor for Cinewhoops because all of the 1408s are very coggy and very notchy. And Cinewhoops are carrying HD cameras which need a smooth platform or else they're going to get jello. So 1408s in my opinion are the worst and and you should they should all be burned in the fire's pits of hell. Um Okay. It's also a a, a bad motor size and an 8 mm tall stator is absolutely ridiculous unless you're like a hardcore racer then maybe there's some point to it. Uh, 1507s, <clears throat> that was a motor size that, so that was the first micro motor size where uh, a couple of motor manufacturers, T-Motor I think was first, and then iFlight followed closely behind, um, where we got a smooth running, not coggy, not notchy micro motor that, was, that had enough stator volume to pick up a Cinewhoop and a full size HD cam. So for a little while there, 1507s were the jam for Acrobrats and for Cinewhoops. But the way that that motor size delivers power is horrible because it's a racing motor size. Racing motors are very tall and they're not very wide. Um, when a motor is very tall and it's not very wide, you get good throttle resolution up at the top of the throttle, which is where the racers hang out. But us freestyle people, we hang out in the middle and the bottom of the throttle. And the, and the throttle resolution is horrible in those really tall motors um, in the middle and the lower part of the throttle. So eventually, these motor, uh, Kabob was first. He made the 23, uh, uh, he made the 2203 or 23, I forget which one it is, but it doesn't matter. 2203 or 2303 motor that was not coggy and nice and smooth. And then all the other motor manufacturers went, oh my God, right, okay, so they all started copying him. My favorite three inch Cinewhoop motor for the Cinesplore, which is a little bit lighter of a weight Cinewhoop than most, it's the Cinewhoop that you should buy, uh, or build rather. Uh, my current favorite is 2004 and 4000 to 5000 kV. Uh, I have the Brother Hobby VY 3950 kV motors on mine. I run it on 4S 850 batteries. The all up weight is like 460 grams. I get over five minutes and it is fucking laser pointer accurate. Like stupid, stupid, stupidly accurate. As the weight of a rig goes up, it becomes less accurate. Toothpicks, very accurate. They have big ass propellers and they don't weigh anything. So they drive around the sky like an RC car because they've got big propellers and not a lot of weight. When you start to crank the weight up on a rig, there's more momentum and, it start, and when you go to turn it, it doesn't want to turn, it just wants to keep going straight. And that's not good usually for a Cinewhoop. Usually with a Cinewhoop, you want to be able to turn it and shoot the tiny little gap that you're going for. That's the whole point, right? Um, so yeah, build you a Cinesplore and put it on 2004 Brother Hobby VY motors. Do whatever 2004s you want, but I like the VYs because they're the lightest. Um, and they've been really, really good. So, yeah, do it. 661 is in the house. Um, if you've got a heavier Cinewhoop, like the Squirt, or if your Cinewhoop is over 500 grams all up weight, you should probably go with Kebab's motors, uh, which are uh, 23, 2304 now. Uh, those are going to give you a little bit of extra ass to, to pick up that extra weight. I do have a Cinesplore on those motors, on Kebab's, uh, let me look, it'll say right on them. 22, not 23, 2203, uh, the, the, his initial run were 2203s, his current ones are 2204. Um, yeah, I built a Cinesplore with those big old motors, and for me, it's a little bit too much motor. Uh, so... Yeah, I really prefer the 2004. 
Ruby Tim says, what's your Cinewhoop dry weight? That's a good question. Dry weight of this Cinesplore is coming at you. Nine point one seven ounces. Uh, two hundred and fifty nine grams, two hundred and sixty grams, dry, and then I put a full fat Hero Eight on there, and a four S eight fifty. That is the best Cinewhoop setup that I have ever flown, and and I've flown quite a few. Um, what you guys should understand about me is like since a lot of people know that I'm like the micro guy um, every time I ever fly with with somebody that I haven't met before and they have a micro or a Cinewhoop they want me to fly it um, and I'm always down to fly other people's stuff um, just like when I was a motorsport instructor I was always in love with driving other people's cars it's great you know if you fuck up and wreck it it's like well sucks for you <laughs> dr vigno not to be confused with dr shivago what the fuck is dr shivago from is that from brave new world uh, Dr. Vigno says, which rig were you flying during the last clip you showed? I arrived midway. Keep up the good work. Love from Canada. Uh, that was just one of my regular old glides um, uh, that you guys have seen a million times. Um, Five-inch glide, gem fan, 5143s, of course. Um, this is, It was actually this one that, that we just uh, did all the work to on the streams Monday and Saturday maybe. Um, so it's on a fresh set of T-Motor F40 Pro 4s, which are motor scaled down to like 85%. I was thinking about scaling the motors back up for a little bit more power because it was a big location, but I didn't because I didn't want to lose throttle resolution. Um, I was spending a lot of time at that spot flying really low to the ground um, and I actually need to pull my transmitter apart. Um, the, uh, the throttle throw on my transmitter is getting a little bit sticky, uh, which happens after a while. Like, so there's a, there's a, on the, on the butt, so you got your throttle stick and on the bottom of the throttle stick, there's a little plastic rocker thing. And then below that plastic rocker is a steel piece of, not steel, but it's just a piece of metal. And there's some screws where you can push that metal more or less into the little rocker, plastic rocker part to increase or decrease the, uh, the amount of friction. Well, I fly a lot and I move the throttle up and down a lot. So eventually what happens is the plastic and the metal get like a little dirty and then the throttle throw will become, so I, I loosen that piece of metal on the bottom there so that the throttle is nice and smooth. But eventually it gets a little bit less smooth and all I have to do is pull the back of the transmitter off and go in there with a Q-tip and clean the, the plastic, the bottom of the plastic, and clean the, the piece of metal, and it's perfectly smooth again. Um, but yeah, because of those two things, I didn't change the, uh, I didn't up the, the amount of horsepower that this thing had. Um, man, is it nice to have that option in beta flight with the motor limiting. Uh, so yeah. Uh, it's a FPV cycle glide frame on 15 millimeter standoffs, nano camera, uh, Akon AK32, 30 by 30 ESC. It's all down below in the description, in the in the gear I use and trust section. Uh, Akon uh, F7 flight controller, immersion RC VTX, true RC OCP antenna, crossfire, BMC 3D front load, uh, GoPro Session 5 mount, GoPro Session 5, of course. Um, that's about it. Foxier Predator Nano camera at 30 degrees. Pretty simple uh, build. Oh, on uh, Tattoo R-Line version one, 1050 MAH 6S batteries. Um, I get between four and five minutes flying like the way that you saw me flying. Um, and yeah, it's absolute bliss. 
It weighs uh, 605 grams all up. Carries a session five beautifully. And uh, yeah, this is the, in my opinion, this is the best five inch build imaginable. Um, if you're willing to spend 160 bucks on a session five, which I think you should on eBay because even though 160 bucks is a lot more than buying a Hero 8 or 9 and then just getting like 40 or $50 replacements from Best Buy over and over and over again, the Session is so much more durable that even at $160, you're going to spend a lot less money that way. Um, the GoPro Heroes, the way that I crash, I break them the first day out. Like, I go and fly with a Hero 8, and it's it's blown up by the end of that flight session. So that's a $40, $50 flight session right there. Whereas the sessions, man, they last fucking months. Like, I, I will put hundreds of hits into the sessions, and they're totally fine. So, yeah, even at $160 bucks per from eBay, uh, they are a lot cheaper than just constantly breaking uh, Hero 8s Hero and Hero 9s. So, um yeah, I think I went through six Hero 7s at one point in a row each day that I flew. Went out and, and, and most of them blew up on the very first battery. Um, the Heroes are just awful. Um, great for cinematic stuff, but for freestyle, they're just, uh, they're just the worst in my opinion. Motoref says, awesome advice. Thanks, man. You're certainly welcome. Uh, Agar says, do you cut your props? I do not. Uh, Schwer Gustav says it seems like a stator that wide and flat should be desync and constantly. Why doesn't it? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. Uh, it's my guess would be that it's not wide enough. Um, Twenty oh four is actually not that wide. I mean, it's pretty wide, but yeah, none of them do. So. Uh, Rumi Tim says, just weighed my Squirt V1, it's one gram heavier. I had a feeling the Squirts were pretty light. Uh, Double A saying hello. T-Bird saying new egg had sessions for 130. Got, no shit. Do they still? I'm sure they don't. But I'm gonna look. New egg! Please have some. More importantly, T-Bird, why didn't you tell me? Because you wanted them all for yourself, didn't you? Uh, I can respect that. It's not like I haven't done that live on stream before. <laughs> like when I bought all of the FP Cycle 500 MAH motors. <laughs> GoPro Session 5. Come on, New Egg, find it. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can I sort by price? Sort by price, highest first. Uh, Motoref says, are the batteries on the Session 5 replaceable? They are not. They are not. But the batteries, I mean, for me at least, they don't, the, I, I physically destroy them before the battery goes. So that's never been an issue. Damn. I can't <laughs> I can't even find them on there at all. T-Bird bought every single one. <clears throat> now he's going to sell them on eBay for 200 bucks per. Uh, T-Bird, you got a link by chance? William Loach says, great advice. I'm in the market for a GoPro. I was wondering which way to go. Session versus anything else. How much does a session weigh? Sessions weigh 80 grams. Uh, GoPro Hero 7 weighs 120 grams. Hero 8 weighs... Almost 130 grams. Hero 9 weighs like 140 something grams, I think. Uh, we're going the wrong direction, GoPro. Come on, man. Paul McDonald says, see refurbs for 159 on there. 159 is pretty fucking good for a refurb GoPro from a reputable place um, versus just buying one from some jackass on eBay. They're selling for 160 on eBay. If I didn't have like five Session 5s right now, I would probably snag one for 160. So. Uh, if you guys can manage to find the damn thing on uh, Newegg, which I cannot, um, I would snag one for 159 right now. 661 says, speaking of sessions, I just got my first session four from Newegg for 99 bucks with a warranty. Only ever had split cams before. 
99 bucks for a session four is really good. I've got a bunch of edits here on the channel uh, of session fours, and they're they're great basher cameras, man. I'm I'm very impressed by session fours. Very very impressed. Um, session fives are way better, but they're almost twice as much money. So yeah, for a for a basher, um, I would kind of like to have. I would kind of like to have another session four. Um, nah, I can't find them. Giving up. <clears throat> uh, hold on. All right. How does this? How does the internet work? Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's. Uh, DQ says, do you re do you recommend the two year warranty on the Session Five for thirty two dollars? It depends very specifically, DQ, if the two year warranty includes. Um, physical damage some of these warranties do not cover physical damage and the way that you're going to destroy your gopro is physical damage uh, so for example on ebay if you buy anything used on ebay and they offer you a square trade warranty that square trade warranty only covers manufacturer defects it does not cover physical damage protection. I got burned on a Session 5 from eBay because of that. Um, if you buy something brand new on eBay, there's a more expensive square trade warranty that sometimes does cover uh, physical damage. Over on Amazon, they offer Assurion warranties. And most of the Assurion warranties cover physical damage uh best buys warranty covers physical damage i don't know anything about new eggs got to read the fine print 661 says i got the session four that you rec uh from your recommendation thanks a lot i'm impressed yeah it's good right they're they're really good and fuck are they durable god damn are they durable um if you guys can find a gopro session four or five with a warranty that covers physical damage get it that is like that is gold right there dq says the warranty says 100 percent parts and labor so it does not cover uh physical damage i can almost guarantee you uh 661 says the new egg warranty says it covers drops and spills then the fine print says abnormal abuse isn't covered uh, i got a year for seven dollars seven dollars per year is probably not going to cover physical damage Usually the physical damage warranties are like 20 or 30 or $40 a year. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of a slippery slope there. Read the fine print. Maybe shoot him a message and be like, hey. And you could like send him a message and be like, hey, I'm going to be using this thing on a movie set from like a moving car and there's a chance that it's going to fall off, right? Like... Like, don't don't tell them you're putting it on a drone. If you tell them you're putting it on a drone, they're gonna blackball you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Lie to them, guys. Lie, lie, lie. Remember, and then tell them that Ciadi FPV said it was okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, Christ, come on. Hold on, guys, hold on. Hold on, very important business going on here. Very important lighting business. Ah! Ugh. I can't see anything now. Uh, new egg buttons, I'm not gonna click the link, Daniel. I can't read, I don't know how to read. Uh, let's work on the rip squeak. I'm probably too drunk to be working on the rip squeak, but I mean, at least you guys are going to watch me fuck up. Look, there's a leaf on the table. Why? I'm going to put it in there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing about motors on this thing, man. Um, C 
Sleepy. Sleepy time. <laughs> JT MacGyver sang, snagged a Session 5 yesterday for $100 used, of course. Uh, I have a new glass and bezel ready to install the day it arrives, whether it needs it or not. That's a really good deal, JT. That's a really, really, really good deal. That's not true, Lanky Bastard. Don't be, cr don't be crass. Don't be crass, Lanky. You've been so well behaved up until this point. Don't make me rub my male gonads on you. Uh, okay, so let's do this. L let me, uh, let me remove these little race wires on these little wires because they're too short. Uh, let me first, though, let me check what color these little race wires here are. Um, oh, hi, kitten. What are you doing? What, what is, what are you doing? Stop looking at that. What are you looking? <gasps> oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the biggest fucking cockroach in the world. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's the size of a fucking child. Oh, fuck you, cat. Why don't you fucking eat these things? Oh god, it's so fucking big. Oh, what the fuck? Why the fuck did I move south? Oh, oh god. I, that's it, I live in here now. Oh wait, I can just shut the door and no. Oh god, oh, ah! it's one of the ones that flies. Oh god, oh. Uh. Oh, no! Don't you go under that couch! Oh, it's under the fucking couch! Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's so big! Oh, I hate when they're that big! Fuck! 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 Oh, God damn it, cat. Alright, hold on. Oh, fuck you, you fucker! No! 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 Alright, hold on. Alright. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna just light this fucking couch on fire. Oh god, what the fuck? Why is it so big? Oh, fuck you! It's been so long. So we're gonna 
Take care of some rips. <laughs> So we're going to take care of some ripsqueak work here tonight. Motherfuckers. Good thing I'm getting flexible for all this yoga. McDonald with a five dollar super chat cockroach trap fund. Yo, the 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 fucking size of the trap that would be required. Uh, oh my fucking god! What the? F That's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. What is... why? Okay. Joe Tune the Pro says, where can I get the race wire? Um... Flywoo. Flywoo has the shortest race wire available. Uh, it looks like that. It's only 15 millimeters. Uh, long. Uh, and yeah, Flywoo were the only one that the only ones that make them. Mm. Wow. This has not gone well. William Loach says, "Can you light up the hair again?" I did. It's lit up. Get my hair cut next weekend. <sighs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Why was that motherfucker on the door frame? What, like fucking four feet up on the door frame? What, what is that about? What? What kind of shit is this? He's trying to get like face level to fucking attack my face. That's that's not cool. This is some bullshit. Why is there fucking... Why, why do we have a fucking... A virus wiping out people? Why can't we make a... Why can't we fucking get a little... Why is there not fucking cockroach coronavirus? What, kill these motherfuckers. What are we doing? What the fuck? What are we doing here? It's 2021. Jesus Christ. What, what what is happening? Brandon's baked bean says it's your roommate now. Bleh. Oh God! Frank Nicholas says cockroach edit of this live stream. I have too many cockroach edits. One one is too much. Yo, I hit that thing. So, like, I hit that thing 
so it's like let's give it credit and we'll say it's an inch tall right hold on uh inches in six feet 72 so i'm so i'm roughly 72 times taller than this thing S how does this math work out 72 times taller right so six feet times 72 so the the equivalent would be a 432 foot tall giant let's see what's 432 feet tall okay so a building right so imagine a building had arms and a shoe and the building a big fucking building you know kind of like me took a, a giant shoe the size of a fucking city block and went yeah! and as hard as that building could and and you know i'm probably about as strong as a building um and smashed me with a shoe the size of new york and i was just like yeah i'm still fine though no I would turn to dust. What the fuck? <sighs> Bird's House Weasel says, kill it. Oh, I did. Sort of, I don't know, maybe it's outside. Like, I'm good now. <laughs> uh, William Lush says this is the funniest thing I've seen in weeks. DQ says it's not like they bite or anything. You don't know that, DQ. You don't fucking know that. Look at him. I'm, I'm hitting him with a fucking city block and then it doesn't die. What? They're gonna... They fucking... They're gonna start biting. Ugh. Ugh. I don't fucking care if they don't bite. Look at them. Look at them. That's not okay. It's not okay for anything to look like that. Not okay. Not fucking okay. Veritas Weasel says, smash it, clean it up real good. So there's eggs. You no, no, no. Don't talk to me about fucking eggs. No, no, no. Mm. Motor Ref says, you can't make this shit up. Did it kill? It did not. Veritas says, stomp it to death. Sort of. Pure comedic cold. William Lowe says, YouTube just did the thing. Oh, fucking YouTube. Son of a bitch. Uh, T-Bird says, you may need to go check, change your panties after that. I wear boxer briefs, I'll have you know. Or not boxer briefs, boxer shorts. Philip says, behind you. No, he's not. Um, the imposter. I don't want no shit from you, imposter. Uh, Paul McDonald says, no, no, stop with the, the babies and, uh, it's not a cicada motor ref. I lived in New Jersey when there was a uh, 17 years ago when there was the cicada thing. I know those guys. They're 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 just as vile. Boosh and JDM says, uh, "There we go. Is there a cur current limit on those race wires? Uh, I have some of the uh, Flywoo four by tens to use, but they're so tiny. Uh, there are there's uh, there are voltage limits on the race wires that you want to keep an eye on." Um, these ones here, I don't actually know. I don't know what the voltage limit is. But when you buy race wires, make sure you look at the uh, the voltage limit. Because they have a little uh, resistor on them. And that resistor will only be rated for like 
one S or two S or three S or four S or five S or six S. T Bird saying something disgusting that I've I've only read a couple words of. Uh Jackalope says you need to arm yourself with raid. I have a big huge I always have a big huge can of of cockroach killer in, under the sink. Double A tagged me but didn't say anything. Dropping frames. Oh great. 2099 dropped frames. Way to go, YouTube. Way to go, OBS. Way to go, fuckwad. Still dropping frames. Nothing I can really do. It's probably that fucking cockroach outside chewing on the goddamn Comcast wires. Um, okay. Let me, uh... Let me, uh... Try to get some work done. This is some bullshit. I'm serious. How the hell... What fucking animals eat these things? Why, why are we not having all of the animals that eat these things for pets? Oh wait, I do, but he's a jerk off little fucking baby that won't eat them. It's the only thing that I need from you, cat. To eat these goddamn prehistoric scumbags. God, I'm gonna buy a fucking flamethrower for these things. Okay. So we're gonna, uh. Remove these race wires. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let me see what color they are first. That's right, that's right, that's right. I wanna see what color they are first while it's still hooked up to the, uh. ESC. Oh, shit. Why did they not light up? What was that about? Oh, they're, I think they're white? Hold on. Looks like they're white. Ah, they're white. Why is only one of them working? That's weird. Huh. Well, that's not great. <clears throat> um... Um... Uh, <laughs> uh, whatever. I don't care. E.E. Doc says, very rare sight, six months of winter. Yeah, see, you know, you know, uh, Armin Drone is having problems with his uh, run cam hybrid. Armin, I've got five run cam hybrids, and I've not had a single issue with them. I've actually been absolutely blown away by how durable, um, and just like, yeah, trouble free that they've been. So that that sucks you're having problems, but that is definitely not the norm, man. And I've been recommending these run cam hybrids to everybody for like probably over a year now. Um, and I, I don't I don't know if I've heard of anybody really having issues. They've been really, really scary good. Um I would get in touch with whoever you bought it from and, and raise some shit. Be like, yo, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> What's that? Okay. Cleaning up these pads here, and then we're gonna remove motor number, I don't know, say number here, between one and four. Ah, shit. Nyah! No! Why these motherfuckers gotta attack me on the night that I'm all fucking drunk, too? Come on, now. I'm in a good mood. Thinking about that cute girl. Hanging out with you guys. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, wires. Okay. And last one here. Looks like I'm gonna be able to, uh... Solder the uh, the the new ones on without. I was concerned I was gonna have to pull this stack apart to get enough access to these uh, ESC pads because I kind of forgot 
if you guys remember the last time I was building this thing, I kind of forgot that uh, the race wires that I had on it were not going to be long enough. So yeah, I'm kind of uh, thrilled <clears throat> that I'm not going to have to pull this stack apart because we spent a good amount of time putting this stack together. I mean, the most of the time we spent was on basically development, figuring out exactly which spacers to use, how much spacing we needed, shit like that. <clears throat> but, uh, so it, it wouldn't take that long to pull the stack apart, but it's just, it's just fucking annoying. To have to pull the stack apart over and over and over again. Okay, we are cruising here. And there we go. Three motors have been removed. <clears throat> Cockroach is jealous of your enemy young cockroach. It's true. What size standoffs do you need for the uh uh, to run the run cam hybrid 20 milliliters. Nope, DQ. The, uh, the run cam hybrid camera is 24 millimeters tall. So if you were going to run zero up tilt, you could get away with a 25 millimeter standoff, but don't do that. That's silly. Um, so you need a 28 millimeter standoff, uh, which pyro drone, I think most places sell 28s. Pyrodrone is one of the only places that sells a 23, uh, which is the, the glide, which is the included glide standoff. Uh, but 28 millimeter standoffs are, are much more widely available, which is great. But if for some reason you can't find them, Pyrodrone definitely has them. All right, there we go. So now I've got a decision to make. I could, and I'm tempted to, pull these 1304s off of here. These are RCX 1304s, 5,000 kV. I could pull these off of these race wires and put them on this quad. And what I would more than likely find, because I've done this before, is that 1304s are not enough motor for a 3 inch prop. At that point I could then drop this down to a 2.5 inch prop, but then I probably wouldn't have enough thrust for the all up weight of this rig. Alternatively, I could switch these arms out. So eventually I'm gonna get my hands on those iFlight 1504s, which are nine by nine mount base. And those are gonna end up on this. But they're out of stock at Pyrodrone. So, yeah. And I don't have any other, uh, <clears throat> I mean, they're kind of aren't, any other 9x9 nine nine mount motors that are going to... Well, no, there are. I just don't have any. Hold on, let me get the motor box. <clears throat> let me see what I got in the motor box. I think everything I have is 12x12. 12 12. I'm 99% I'm sure. DQ says 28. That brings the battery up really high uh, if you run the battery up top. Uh, it does, DQ, but on a micro, uh, you don't have a GoPro up there. So moving the battery up that high doesn't really negatively affect the uh, the flight performance. My um, the, the two rip squeaks that I already have built <clears throat> with that same setup fly beautifully. Um, so yeah and and they're so lightweight that you're not you're also not going to run into issues with bending the uh, the 28 millimeter standoffs because you don't have a lot of weight up on top again because you don't have a GoPro uh, up top so yeah it works shockingly well yeah I got nothing 
I mean, technically I have these 1303s, but they're going to be even worse than a 1304. So I'm not even going to fuck with these. I should just get rid of these. I don't know why I still have these. What's this? Oh, the 1700 KV staters, that's right. Uh, what's this? Another F40 Pro 4. Cool! Score! Ooh, my left, my left leg is numb. One of the joys of getting older is like body parts will just go numb at random times. I'm like, oh, am I dying? Is this it? Is this the moment? I knew this day would come. Might as well be right now. <gasps> Fuck out of here. Uh, now I'm hearing shit. Uh, oh, that's where those went. Uh, don't mind me. Hold on, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me desolder these. Desolder these. These little, uh, I think these are perp, uh, UV race wires. I was looking for these not too long ago. I don't know where the hell they went. Okay. Nyeh. And... Nyeh. And... Nyeh. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Don't stick. Don't stick. Come on. Be cool. So, I'm just going to pull these off, and these are just going to be worthless. Because they're too short. That's what she said. Not to me, though. It's important for people to think I'm going to bring tech. <laughs> Come on, solder melt, you bastard. There we go. Trying to clean up these uh, solder joints here. There we go. Toxic mask. Ah, god, god, god damn it, that PCB got hot. Fuck. Oh, wow. That scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a hot cockroach. Alright, I'm doing this the most lazy possible way ever, and it's. And go figure, it's biting me in the ass. Flux, flux, flux. Flux, flux, and now it'll be a thousand times easier and the results will be better. Go figure, all you gotta do is not half ass things and then, uh, you know, everything is great. Get in there, tip of the soldering iron. Oh, balls. Oh my god, this is... Are, are you really going to fuck with me right now? This is not the time. I just got attacked by a goddamn dinosaur. Oh, it's because the tip of the soldering iron is absolutely vile. That'll be better. A. B. C. Ah, 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 ah. Get off of there. Get off of there. You're next. Get, 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 get up. Get up and out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't, don't. Thank you. And then you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I'm just pulling away. Okay. So now our 1306 Emax motors, which are 12 by 12 mount base, unfortunately, are free. Let's get these little tiny fellas out of here. 
I just burn myself again. Come on, jerk. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. All right. Just add a little bit of solder here. Just add a little bit. A little bit of solder. I'm 17. Okay, cool. Hey, look at that. The uh, shrink wrap. Just went ahead and committed Harry Carey. That was nice of it. Ow! Ow! Yo! Come in! Hello. Yo! Hello. Yo! Hello. Yo! Yo! Hello. Yo! Hello. Yo! Yo! Yo, I just killed a cockroach the size of a fucking dog. Dude, I must have brought him up with me. I don't, I don't get it. Ken and Glenn are here, everybody. Sure Say hello. This is perfect, because now I have an excuse to end. Oh no, what are you doing with the fancy camera? I'm just playing with shit. All right. Yeah, just the bench cam is on, but you guys are down in the corner. Uh, Michael Blade says, just wanted to say, say a lot of Thanks, Michael. <laughs> Michael Blade says, hey, I just wanted to say hello before I get back to bed. Uh, Alpha Sauce says, where's the cross-lock tweezers? Uh, they're in the drawer. I don't, I don't, uh, like them as much. I only use them for specific things, Alpha. Uh, Jackalope says, uh, burn the shit out of himself. I did. I always burn myself. I don't always burn myself. That's a lie. Uh, occasionally I burn myself, though. Uh, alright, boys and girls. This has been, uh, this has been real. This has been fun. Unfortunately, it's not been real fun. Um, look at these guys. Blame it on them. Blame it on them. They're in the shadows. They're, they're not where the light is. Uh, don't blame it on them. These are uh, two really good friends of mine. Ken and Glenn. Yes, their names rhyme. No, it's not on purpose. <laughs> it's on purpose. We did it on purpose. Tark says, uh, where do you get bulk silicone wire? I actually don't know, Tark. I buy and break so much shit that I just keep all the extra wire that I cut off of motors, and I've never had to buy wire before. My guess would be get FPV, Pyro Drone, RDQ. Uh, chat, help Tark out where you get your bulk pyro, silicone wire. Do you, one of, one did you of them had a pyro, pyro, I think, had it. I bought bulk like motor wire, and it had like multicolors. There was tons of it. Pyro Drone, yo. Thanks yeah, for hanging out, motherfuckers. Some, some wire bags like that. Ruby Tim saying hi to Ken. Hey. And. All right, cool. Look at that, a stream that's less than two hours. Cheers, people. Go get drunk. And uh, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, definitely Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, hold on. Let me play a little bit more light footage for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here's the first battery from today in this crazy looking spot. Thanks for hanging out, you beautiful bastards.